is where the, the room where the magic happens. Well, you guys have been waiting to see the inside of our new camper. So we thought we'd give you the inside tour today. This is the bedroom. Um, Grand Design came up with a new design and it's gray interior. It's gray interior, which makes it softer looking. I really like it. I need to upgrade all my coverings and stuff, but that's later on. But they have, um, I got the nicer side of the bed because I need more space for my things. Opa doesn't need any space. <laughs> His and her closets. Just give you a little glance here. We have the girls' steps here, so um, this way they're out of the way. We can each get two drawers. This is our TV from our reflection that we traded in. So we just brought it along with us. And as you can see, there's a lot of space. I haven't cleaned this out yet. Opa ordered me some new, I don't know what you call them. Struts. Struts so it can stay open. Because our bed's pretty heavy. When he gets that on, I can get that all organized. But there's a lot of room under there. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but the bed back here is kind of oval shaped. Our mattress is not. Um, so if we ever decide to get a new mattress, then we'll see if we can get one that's oval shaped. But as for now, there we go. This is good. It works well. Plenty of light. Plenty of light. Plenty so you can see things. Plenty of room. <laughs> Plenty of room. And the girls like it, right? This is Lucy's favorite spot. She likes to sit right here and look out the window. Right, Lou? And Ethel? Right? Okay. Are you going to follow me? Next, we're going to take you into the bathroom. We're in the bathroom now. We have a nice size medicine cabinet. And see these fixtures? They didn't come with anything. We didn't get any fixtures in here. So we went and picked up our own, put them in, installed them ourselves. This is a nice deep towel closet, with whatever you want to use it for. Sheets, whatever. Nice to know opening here, which gives a little more room. And I love the shower because I don't have the glass doors. I didn't really like the glass doors. But we have this shower. It's a four step shower. Pet shower, should I just get in there? Pet shower. <laughs> oh look, it even gave me a shower. And then this is for your neck area, back area. And this is the butt cleaner. That's what I'm gonna call it, the butt cleaner. <laughs> it is. It's the butt cleaner. Okay, next we're going to go down to the living room slash kitchen area. So after you leave the bathroom, we have two steps to go down. Where right here we have a switch for this light here, which one, it's only one light. But when we first got the camper, we couldn't figure out how to turn that light off because we never turned it on or accidentally bumped it. So we sat here for a while. We figured it out. Here it is, the magic switch. And we have two cubbies here. This is the control panel for all the lights and awnings and porches and gas and electric. Some storage. And then we have the electrical box down below. And some more storage. So it all worked out well. And then we go into the living room. This is a three recliner couch. So it's three couches. Has these tables which are removable. But we seem to use them a lot. Um, and also the gray interior here, which I really like the gray. It's really snazzy, I like it. Okay. 
And we have our entertainment center, which we have some shelvings to put in here to put our little boxes and extra electronical stuff in there. And we have the fireplace. And it changes color. Top button. Top button. Whatever mood you're in for, you can have it with heat or just for ambiance. Ambiance, I said that right, right? Okay. We have a lot of storage here, which we haven't really filled up yet. We're still organizing this section. And you're probably thinking, wow, Marie, you're so short. Or Oma, you're so short. But I have a two-step ladder that if I want to get anything off the upper shelves, I pull that out and use it. And up here, we have a loft. We put a little netting up there. We're gonna use it for storage. Nothing too heavy, because you know, can't have a whole lot of weight in the camper. Looking at the watch. Then, we're going into the kitchen. Now I want you to know, this is a one butt kitchen. So if I was not allowed in it when I'm in it, it's a one butt kitchen. My pantry, which I really like. The other, these are, you can see things. The other pantry, the reflection was way in the back, and some of you, you had to pull things out to go in and out. But I like it. Now, up here, which I probably should have brought the ladder. Can you reach that open? There's some more storage. You keep a lot of snacks up there, so. Boba really wants a snack. He has to pull out the ladder. Bagels right. or snacks? Well, no, we went to Sam's Club, so we kind of stocked up on some stuff. But um, there's a lot of there's a lot of room up there. Okay. This is also some storage. I keep cookie sheets up there, my waffle maker, my rice cooker, different things. leave it here for now. All right, this is our Norcold fridge, freezer. It has two freezers, so you don't have to open both. Just try to remember what side you have whatever you're looking for on. And then we have our fridge. Nice light. Nice LED light. Opa put that in for me. Opa puts a lot of LED lights in for me. And we have a microwave, no convection oven. And that's not a problem, because I use my oven more than I did my convection oven in our last RV. So we have red, we have blue lights, and an oven light. But here's the, here's the little trick with the new display for the uh, ovens and the, or the stoves. When it's, on, when it's on, it's red, so you know that it's on. Blue off, red on. Blue, yep. It's hot. I have a window out there. I have a little plug here, which I use a lot because I'll put my board on here and use my instant pot or my crock pot over here. This has a light and a vent. And this is my coffee nook here which I really like, my Instant Pot. We have some, one shelf under here. I think a lot of the heating system is under there, am I correct? Yeah. And I have my the drawers. The furnace is under there. And I have a trash can in here, which you can always see the trash, but I don't have it out here because it would take up too much space. But I have my tall cabinet here, which is fine. I put things in baskets so when we're traveling they don't fall out. And some cookbooks and things like that. Turn your light on and off. And we have a light that goes on and off up there. And we also have one that goes on and off by my one butt kitchen. That's funny, huh? One butt kitchen. Um, miss anything in here? Um, uh, just the front door there. Oh, the front door. Some of the add-ons. Oh. The shades and the okay. screen. The um. 
we added on the shade. It came with the frame. The frame for the shade. So we had to order the shade, which we did. And then we got these. Our last RV we had plexiglass, but the girl scratched it up and it just never looked nice. So now we got these from uh, Lippert, I think. Yep. Lippert. And they're screen defenders. It is great. It's uh, aluminum or what is that? It's plastic. It's plastic, but the girls it can't scratch can't it. scratch it, and it it doesn't scratch. You can't see it on there. And we also have a uh, screen door closure. A screen door. Oh, let me open that. So it's Oh, screen door closer right here. Yep, so if she lets go of the door, it automatically closes the screen door. So when you're going in and out, it automatically closes. Yep. But that, that we added on. We added that, yes. Yep. Okay, so we got this room. Okay, so that's all. Now, I'm going to close this door. Now this door goes to our garage, garage slash family room slash slash dining room dining room slash oh. game room game slash room. craft room craft room computer room yep no bar no bar but our well, favorite it is definitely our favorite we spend room spend a lot of time in that room even though i like to say one but kitchen i like my kitchen but i'll just say one thing the only difference between that what we showed you so far and what we're getting ready to show you <laughs> is the garage between right. the 320 and the 350 the only difference is three and a half feet right. the 320 has an 11 foot garage the 350 has a 14 and a half foot garage right. so now without further ado this is our favorite room so anyway we start here any place you want we Put our family birthdays, anniversaries up here for kids, grandkids, hat rack, coat rack. This door. Shove we behind use. the door. Okay. And there's my two step ladder. So I don't have far to go get it. And it's hooked up with some of these hinges. What are they? Do they have a name? Elastic them? hinges Elastic. is all I can think of what to call them. They're made of rubber. They're pretty heavy. But right. so I don't have far to go for that. And this is the door that we use to take the girls out. We use it. That's like a door we hardly ever use. Because if they get muddy, if they get grass on them, because we just cut grass, it comes all in here. This is our happy jack. Hey, no barking. <laughs> this is our happy jack. What do they call that? Happy jack. Uh, bench slash bed. Right. So up there we have a bed. And we have a button that will bring it down. And we have the ladders we hung up there. With yeah. this. We're, st we're storing the ladders underneath the queen size bed. And we've hung an extra light there because when we're sitting at this table, whether we're eating or playing cards or whatever, the only light we have is from the four lights in the ceiling. Right. So we decided that we'd like to have a light. Now, little did we know we were looking for this light. It had a chain on it. And we said, that's the light we want. Right. We brought it home and found out it's a grow light. That's okay. Well, fine with us. We didn't care. It, it's providing the light that we need. Absolutely. So. So that'll come down. Here, if you want to. Uh, if you want to film for a second. I'll uh, show some details about the bottom section. Okay. So the bottom section. The bottom section. Uh, better go over here actually folds back over itself all the way around on both sides it forms a bed right. when the table is removed and then you push a button and this will go all the way to the ceiling if you want that bed to come out you have to come over and flip these little levers on all four corners send it up it grabs the bed it brings it down to this level right here and then it releases and puts it down to the bottom. If you send it back up before you turn your levers over, it will go up, but it will come back down with the bench. So if you do, if you want to send it up and don't want it to come back, you have to flip all the levers before you push it back to the top. Right. Okay. Um, and we would put put 
put these chairs up when we're traveling because then this will be a garage. Right. And I think this is new for the 2021 models. You have the nice logoed headrests because I can't find any videos that doesn't show the, the logoed headrest and it has a center console for drinks. So it's really nice. It is very comfortable. Uh, the back door. I can go back there. Oh, I'll go back. Can go back. I'll go back. <clears throat> so the back door opens. It's a little stiff on the on the release mechanism, which is probably good. There you go. Let the girls okay. out there. Both doors slide open. And if you, when you get ready to put something inside, you pull these little straps right here, and the doors pivot to the outside on both sides. You might want to move one of them curtains. So I can see. Just kind of swish it aside. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect, okay. yep. So that's the position they'll be in with the ramp down to get your toys in here. Right. Uh, now, there is a warning sign on these windows. It specifically says that these screens, and they're talking about these screens here, these windows, must be in the lower section all the way down before travel. They have to be all the way down. Is it so there? they have to be in this position before you travel down the road on all four of them. And I think what it is, is if there's any stress rocking back and forth, they probably could crack and break. Right. So having them at the bottom, there's less chance of the door stressing on you. Right. I mean, obviously, you never rode in the back of an RV. They do bounce around a lot, so that's to prevent. If, if you're not going anywhere and you just want some outside air, all four doors have a screen in them. Right. And the girls like it because they can go out there and they can't get off. Yep. Out on the deck. So, I'll finish out here and then we'll, we'll finish over there on your side. Right there. I want to talk about the curtain, too. Okay. So, here's the porch which is actually also the deck. Uh, the deck is held up by these two cables on both sides. Uh, these handrails will fold back into themselves. And with these doors closed, they fit back at this little nook here. There's that nook on that side and that nook on that side over there. This one here on the right has to go in first because it's hinged to go in first. This one here is not hinged as far back. As you can see, it's only right inside the door on this one. And it's almost a hinge width further in on this one with this L-shaped hinge. Is that correct? Yes, yep, it is. The hinges are different. The L-shaped is here for outside and they're inside for the inside one. Okay. Um, oh, uh, if you didn't notice it with the outdoor, um, review, Put that out? yeah, go ahead. That one, right? Two, number two. We also have an awning out here with lights. Uh, it will automatically stop when it's fully extended and automatically stop when it's fully retracted. We're fortunate that uh, our east is this way for the morning. The sun passes up this way. And as you can see, it's already getting ready. It's already in the west, getting ready to set. Uh, so uh, we get at the heat of the day, we can uh, shade this back window. So anyway, there's, it extends all but what? 18 inches, if, if that much from the end. Uh, scare light. Why they call this a scare light, I don't know. <laughs> There's four lights. Uh, the awning light, the porch light, um, the inside light, and what they call the scare light. I don't know why they call it the scare light. Maybe if you think somebody's walking back here and you turn it on, you'll scare them. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to uh, turn this off for a second. And uh, we'll go in and finish the garage tour. So we purchased this curtain. 
because our favorite place since we've started camping it is in the desert. So now in the morning when we get our coffee, we come in here, we feel like we're still in the desert. Beautiful, I love it. And it has a curtain rod. What's the name of that? Um, tension rod. A tension rod, like a shower curtain rod. So we had a special order that because of the length. Um, but this is called a drop curtain. And you can get them in any kind of scenes you want. Uh, drapery scenes, actually. Right, they're on Amazon. Yep. But we love the desert. This is like a 80, 84 by 96 or something like that. Right. And I do have placemats coming to match. So this is our fun room. Yep. Okay, so we have this little shelf here. It's called a cube, cube shelf where you put your basket bins in. We added that. We added that for some extra storage. And we bolted it to the floor. So when we travel, we don't have to move it. Just move that center one. See it? We bolted it. Bolted it to the floor. Right. Bolted it to the wall. So it's not And we, we're going to use bungee cords to keep everything in the shelf. Right. From this hook to this hook. And it's a place for our, for our uh, flowers, for our violets. Right, by the sun. This one doesn't need a whole lot of sun, so it's good. Ignore this. We're having a picnic this weekend, so. It's Memorial Day weekend. We, we went stocked up. Okay, we, we also put a little beverage fridge in here. Of course, when we travel, this will come off this step. The reason we have it on this step is because the heat vent is under there, and we didn't want to block it. There's a heat ridge. No, it isn't that we didn't want to block it. You don't blow heat, heat into, your into the back of your fridge. Right, right. So we raised the fridge so the heat would blow underneath the fridge. Right. Okay. And we have our TV up there, which we had to get a different TV. Yeah. Oh, we purchased a TV to put in here. Put a TV in here. So we're a three TV RV now. Now these are... Because we have, um, I think Opa showed in the last video. This in the outside. Is, this is for where we store gas. Gas items. Uh, gas items. So if we had a, a uh, golf cart or a... Something that something could create that fumes. fumes. We would open these. You don't know how to open it, do you? Uh, no, you need to squeeze it. Squeeze it and push. Squeeze it and push. You can either push it forward or you can push it right. rear. There oh, you go. It's got the there you go. There. So yep. it's opened. No, it opens actually a little more. It opens a little more? There you go. You got it. Okay. Yep, just like that. I guess even if you're traveling. So if you're going down the road, you could actually force air in through that vent. Right. And it would go out on the opposite side and on the lower part of the RV. Right about there. So I'm going to close this so we don't forget. So. Okay, that's closed. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, wait, got one more item in here. Well, actually, this RV has three air conditioners. Right. Which was one of the options we and also they, wanted. Right, and they're all, they don't all run at the same time. No. They synchronize, basically. When one goes off, another one comes on. And it's not by the programming. If we set them all at the same temperature, whichever room is the warmest comes on first, but it blows air in all three rooms because of the racetrack uh, ductwork that Grand Design puts through their ceilings. Right. And finally, my name. favorite room of the whole RV. Should I tell them what we named it? Go ahead, I don't care. Opa's shitter. No, Opa's poop room. <laughs> well. <laughs> we but, didn't call it but that. we have to admit, it is a little tiny in here. Yeah, it's. It's almost like it's for kids. Yeah, it it's, a, it's 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 a small, small room. But you know what? It's it works fine. Yep, it's nice to have two toilets. Right. And we have a one butt kitchen and a two butt toilets. One butt kitchen, a half butt toilet. <laughs> that was small. But we have a max air vent up there. Yep. And then when you're sitting in here, it's like whoosh, big old. Evac like, evacs those fumes like no tomorrow. Right. It's like. Holy you put it on. Crap. You put it on speed. Fan speed number four. And it has a nice little window here. Yep. I like. I like. I. Like, I, I really like the gray. Yeah. The 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 color scheme is absolutely beautiful. Right. And, and as you know, our last camper had a lot of brown in it. Which this, we loved. We loved it. But this this I love this even more. Yep. A lot of room. Family room. 
So the unit is 39 feet, 10 inches long. That's just from that back glass there to the hitch pin, which is all the way in the front. Um, I recently got a copy of the tank placement in this RV and found out that the gray tank is located way up here near the nose right pretty much underneath the furnace and under and the black tank is underneath the stairs and then we, of course we have two black tanks the other black tank is actually located right here and this is about where the axles are then we found out behind the axles right about here is a hundred gallon fresh water tank and then as i mentioned to you before we have a 30 gallon gasoline tank which is located basically underneath the table so no smoking while playing cards <laughs> no there's no smoking in my camper period so don't allow it. so that's that's the inside of our home uh if anybody's looking for this particular model this is what they look like 2021s and this is it. We love it. yep if you have any questions from anything you saw in the video, if we didn't hide something good enough and you said, hey, what was that thing on that shelf back there? And no, you can't have the numbers to our lottery tickets. No. no. <laughs> They'll probably zoom in and find out what they are. No, at least one number's covered. Oh, whatever. Okay. So <laughs> anyway. We, we hope you like it. I know a lot of people have been asking to see it. Yeah. We've been in it... Uh, What's today's date? 26th? 26. 27. 27. We've been in it three weeks. Four. Four weeks. We got it on Four the fifth. Weeks. One, two, three weeks. Oh, three weeks. Three weeks. Yep, we've only been in it for three weeks. Yep. Two more modifications and then it will be done. Yep. It'll be home. The only thing left is to put solar back on the top. That'll be a while. Yeah. yeah. Not sure when we're going to put that on. Uh, they put a 10 gauge wire pre-wired from the roof down to the batteries. I need to figure out how I want to install it. I do know I'm going with tilt panels this time. Uh, got a friend in Idaho that actually showed me the difference between flat panel uh, uh, solar panels and tilted ones. And when it's winter times, a tilted panel is the way to go. Right. So we're going to incorporate that. I like to go with about 900 watts, but I don't know if 10 gauge wire can handle it. So we'll, we'll get something figured out. If I got to run another wire down to the uh, to the forward cargo area, I will. But anyway, have a great uh, Memorial Day, and thanks for coming along with us on our uh, tour of the inside of our Momentum Grand Design Momentum 350G. Bye.